Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some cool Path Projects gear I'm going to go over, show you a little bit of stuff. Uh, did a little test run in some of the gear, kind of show you a little bit of that. And yeah, we'll take a look. So like I mentioned, I did receive a big box, well, medium sized box of uh, gear from Path Projects, but it did contain a lot of stuff. So huge thank you to Path Projects for sending everything. Uh, I'm under no obligation to say anything about this stuff whatsoever. Uh, I'm just going to say what I want and be honest. Uh, first, obviously, they did send the Kofuzi Path Projects collab hat here, which is really nice. I like it a lot. I actually wore it today on my tempo run. So today's run was uh, 75 minutes and 20 minute warm up with a 40 minute tempo and then cool down to time. So about another 15 minutes of a cool down. Turned out to be about 10.3 miles. Uh, you can take a look on your screen, 10 point, one of these sides. 10.3 miles, uh, 720-ish pace average. Uh, but yeah, legs felt good. Um, yeah, you know, the clothing was great. Ooh, excuse me. So one of the items I did receive aside with, from the hat, uh, which I wore today, was uh, a shirt with the same material, uh, but it's called the Andes, or the Andes, I believe it's Andes, not the Andes, Andes. It's called the Andes AD Tank, uh, and it's tank top. Uh, I'll show you here in just a minute, but basically uh, these are made of air dot mesh fabric is what they call it, but basically it's incredibly breathable. I mean, it's very stretchy, you know, like both ways. It stretches all over the place. There's little holes in it where you can see like light through the fabric. Uh, one thing to note, just in case somebody doesn't want to show their nips, whether that's a dude or a lady, I don't, I don't know, uh, when they get really wet, they are kind of, uh, I wouldn't say see-through, but you can see things. So yeah, just keep that in mind. You'll see here, well, go ahead and take a look. I also got this here from Path Projects. Sorry, I literally just got done with my run not even two minutes ago. I'm drenched in sweat. But as you can see, I've got the uh, Kofuzi Path Projects non-elite hat they sent, which is awesome. It felt good on the run. Uh, and then this is the Andes tank or Andes tank. Uh, really cool, it's like a perforated fabric and it did breathe well on the run like it, you can see now i mean it is completely drenched in sweat but yet it's not clinging to my body like crazy like i mean it's sticking a little bit it's going to do that but it's not sticking as bad as a lot of other shirts and it has these little perforations in it and the air does go through feels really nice while running it's a it's a pretty lightweight shirt but when wet it does feel a little bit heavier but super comfortable and just i've been really happy with it so far in today's run but like that's just, you know, from one handful of sweat right there. So, yeah, it is completely drenched. I'm dripping sweat on my microphone right now. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Uh, but, yeah, then I've also got, this is the Path Projects um, new liners that they have. Really like these. These are the 5-inch uh, length ones. They also sent the 8-inch, which is a little bit long, and I just really don't like long liners at all. But I'm going to try them and give them a shot, see how they feel. But the 5-inch were really nice. I definitely prefer these liners a lot more than the other uh, Tahoe liners they sent. These are much, much nicer. They stay put. They're a little bit more snug and just they breathe better. They feel really nice. So, yeah, that's a little update on this. Back to the studio. So, yeah, like you see, uh, that shirt was uh, a little see-through in places and stuff did stick to it, kind of get stuck in the little uh, little mesh holes. So, you know, bugs, pollen, because it's so crazy pollinated out there right now with allergies. The shirt was very comfortable to, uh, to run in. I, I ran for an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, it was very hot. I was drenched in sweat, very humid. It wasn't too hot, but it was incredibly humid. And uh, the shirt was great. It didn't stick, didn't cling. Uh, it didn't feel, it just felt very comfortable. It worked great. And I'm expecting this shirt to do well. I'll probably wear this uh, this week at some point for sure. The shorts I was wearing in that video were an another pair of Path Project shorts that they sent me previously. Uh, but then underneath had those uh, liners on. So that's another thing that they sent me, which I don't have in this box. I took it upstairs, but they sent two pairs of the base liners. They sent the five inch, which I wore and showed you there in that little clip. Uh, and then the eight inch liners as well. And it's the Lynx liner. It's a Polar Tech power dry fabric and they did really good. Uh, you know, they got wet cause I was running hard and I was working hard and I was sweating like crazy, but I didn't feel saturated. I didn't feel really nasty or just, they didn't move around even though it was wet. It didn't stretch, it stayed put, which was great. A big improvement over the Tahoe liners. So the Tahoe liners, they just, they bunched up on me. They didn't stay put. And I just did not find them comfortable to run more than like 45 minutes in. So these are a big improvement. So the five inch liners are 31 bucks. The eight inch liners are uh, $32, I believe. Yes, $32. So still not a bad deal. 
uh, check them out. I'll put links down below in the description, by the way, for you guys to check this stuff out. Go to Path Projects. Uh, they're not affiliate links. doesn't help the channel out at all, but uh, it does help support Path Projects, which would be really cool. And you can try some of the great gear. And by the way, this, uh, un I think it's called Unita AD. Unita, Unita, I don't know. It's they, they, They're kind of weird names. Unita AD SST t-shirt uh, is $43, and the tank top is $39. There you go. But then uh, Path Projects did also send these here uh, and these are the wheeler nine inch short uh, as you see these are more of a um, you know go hiking kind of thing maybe you're going to go backpacking go hiking uh, need a pair of shorts that's going to last for a couple of days these are a lot thicker than their running shorts like i said it's for kind of like more of a hiking thing uh, but they are they're, they seem very comfortable i like the pocket system so there's a uh, a big pocket, both the front pockets are zippered, which is nice, but inside there, there's a little pocket too to put like your keys in or something, which is nice. And then the pockets on the rear are also zippered pockets, so nice. And it's the same, um, you know, layered system that Path Projects does. There's no liner in these, uh, which would be kind of weird in a short like this anyway, but yeah, pair them with some uh, of the Lynx liners and you'll be good to go for, you know, a long hike uh, or a couple day hike. And these retail for $49 as well, so not a bad price for, uh, seems to be a really good, quality pair of shorts like these are going to be durable these are going to last for a long time and while you're hiking it's kind of like i wouldn't say it's a rip stop fabric but it's very similar to that seems like it's going to do really good if, if you get snagged by thorns and lastly path projects then sent the sykes px five inch shorts i believe i've already got a pair of these uh upstairs but they're great shorts i really do like these uh not my i mean my favorite path project short is probably the wildcat at just because it's so thin uh, but these are great too. They're they're not stiff like the um, like the Backbone PX is a little bit thicker than this. But this is the Torre Prime Flex fabric, uh, and they're great. They're just reliable, good shorts that you can wear. Uh, they're going to be for you know trail running, hiking, ultra running, road running, whatever it is you're doing. Three pockets. You know you've got the two zippers on the side, the one in the back for like a phone, and there is also one in the front here for your keys. I've actually never stored my key in there. I always end up putting it back in this pocket right here. I'm going to have to try that. But I really do like this uh, olive color. It kind of reminds me of the, the Army, you know, OD green a little bit, which I like. So, yeah, I'm excited to give these a shot. Maybe I'll wear them this weekend. I've got a long run coming up. It's going to be, uh, you know, four or five hours, something like that. It should be a pretty good run. Uh, it'll be a good chance to test out some of this gear. So, big thank you to Path Projects for sending everything. I do appreciate it. I'll give everything a really good test. And be sure to let you guys know what I think if something pops up where, you know, I don't like anything in particular or if something's just really great. So stay tuned. And lastly, a little update about my training last week. You know, obviously I rolled my ankle on Sunday of last week. Uh, so I did take Monday off, like I mentioned previously, but I did still get in uh, about a 55 mile week, about a little over 9,000 feet of elevation gain. So it's still a pretty good week of training. Uh, you know, I did go out for about a three and a half hour long run on Saturday. Uh, but I stayed to the gravel roads at Frozen Head. I didn't go off, off trail at all, or not off trail, but I didn't go on any trails. I stayed on the gravel roads to try to minimize any chances of rolling the ankle, and again, because I still felt the lateral movement wasn't quite ready for uh, single track trail or technical stuff. But that run was, was really good. Uh, it was a good workout. It was almost 4,000 feet of elevation gain, 20 miles. Uh, it was a good run. Uh, you, can, you can just do so much at Frozen Head, whether you're on trail on the gravel roads, uh, mountain biking on the gravel roads. It's just such a great place to train. So yeah, that's a good week. Uh, then this week is a really big week as well. Probably be in that 60, 60 to 70 mile range. I'm not sure yet. Depends on that long run this weekend. I do have some family coming in town as well. So I got to get done as quickly as I can, but I'm still going to try to get down a long run. Uh, and it'll be good to run with Lee. I haven't run with him in a while. Uh, you know, I've had soccer every uh, Saturday basically with the kids. So now it's finally over. And so, yeah, we get to run with Lee in the mornings, get that done. Looking forward to it. It'll be good to get in the mountains and uh, share some miles together. But that's what's up. Thank you again to Path Projects. Thank you to you all for checking this out, watching, giving the video a thumbs up. You know, that'd be really cool. If you haven't already, why don't you take a look at the Path Projects haul video I did of the last times Path Projects sent me a lot of gear, some more shorts and shirts, things like that. I uh, really like the shorts uh, and the shirts. Check them out over here, video right there. On this side will be a playlist of some trail running videos to check out too. So thank you, and I will see you on the next one.